Hello everybody, welcome to Maths with Mrs Gilbert. Today we're going to measure objects. Okay, so we're learning to measure objects today. Now don't worry, you don't need a ruler for this. We're not using rulers yet to measure things. Today we're going to measure using something that is the same size. So what I mean by that is if you have any of these at home, and I doubt you do, <laughs> but you might have something similar, these small cubes that I've got here. If you've got anything like that at home to measure with, you can use those today. So these are little ones cubes that we use when we're counting in tens and ones, but they are all the same size. So it doesn't matter what colour they are, they're all the same size. So you might have some unifix cubes at home, you might have some of the interlocking cubes at home, like we do at school. And um, I know I know some of you have, because you've shown me. But if you haven't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Um, so I'll show you what to do if you have. So if you have today, you're going to measure different objects and see how many of those cubes um, different objects measure. So I've used my little ones units to measure this pencil and I've laid them all side by side, all touching, no gaps in between. If you've got the cubes that clip together, that's even better no gaps in between in a straight line to measure the length of that pencil. Now that pencil is 16 cubes long and I know that because I've measured it, I've counted them, it's 16 cubes long. Okay, so you can use your interlocking cubes, Lego bricks, anything as long as they're all the same size as each other and go around measuring different things um, anything you can find in your house. Today we're measuring length, not height. Okay, so don't stack them up on top of each other. We're measuring how long something is. And if you've got that, go measure some things in your house and see if you can find out which is the longest, which is the shortest. Now don't worry if you haven't got any kind of cubes or anything that you could use like this, because what you can use instead is squared paper. Now I've attached some squared paper to this uh, video, to your maths for today, so you can print it out. You might already have some at home. And I'll show you what to do with the squared paper. You could do this as well. If and if you have got cubes, you could do this as well. So I printed out some squared paper. And what I've done is I've chosen some objects. Now I chose three objects. I chose a pair of scissors. I chose a, uh, a rectangle out of the shape tray and I chose a green felt tip. Okay, and what I did was I put them onto the squared paper making sure that um, they were up to the end of one of the squares and we talked yesterday about making sure it was level with the end. I made sure it was level with the end of one of the squares and then I drew round it with a pencil. Then I coloured it in green just to show it was the green felt tip and to make it easier for you to see. And then what I can do now is count how many squares long the green felt tip is because all the squares are like these, all the same size. So I'm going to count how many there are and I've already done that for you and it measures 14 squares. So the green felt tip is 14 squares long. Okay, so I wrote felt tip, drew round it, coloured it in and measured it, counted the squares and it was 14 squares. Now the rectangle, I did the same, the blue rectangle, so I drew round it and then I measured it. But remember, we're measuring how long it is. So we're not measuring all of it. We're not measuring counting how many squares there are in it. We're just counting how long it is, the length. 
Okay, now that is the longest side, so that's the length, that's the side I've measured. So we always use the longest part to measure the length. So I've counted these squares, how many squares across it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the length is eight squares, so I've written that underneath. So the rectangle is eight squares long. Okay, now the scissors are a little bit more tricky to draw around, mm, but I did it. So I drew around them, and because the handles were yellow, I coloured the handles in yellow. You don't have to do that. Um, now, remember, I'm measuring how long it is. So the longest part, so from, I thought the longest part was there, starting there and going up to that square there. So I counted the squares from there to there. And it was... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 squares. So I wrote, I wrote it underneath, 16 squares. So the length of the scissors is 16 squares. Now, it doesn't matter, like I said, what you use as long as they're all the same size and you use the same things to measure all of whatever it is you're measuring. To measure everything, you use the same same units, so either squares or cubes or whatever you've got at home, Lego bricks that are all the same size. Because then you can see, by looking at the numbers, which one of the things you've measured was the longest and which one was the shortest? So I'm looking at the felt tip. The felt tip was 14 squares in length. The rectangle was eight squares and the scissors were 16 squares. So out of the three things that I measured, the scissors were the longest at 16 squares and the rectangle was the shortest at eight squares. So see what you can find to measure and remember, take a picture of it and don't forget to show me. So you're not using ruler to measure in centimetres, we're going to do that another day. You're just finding something that's either all the same like interlocking cubes or you can use the squared paper instead. So have fun, see what you can measure. Don't measure anything that's too long, otherwise you'll get all muddled up with your numbers and you won't be able to draw it. So go and find some sensible um, things to draw around in your house today or at school. And I'll see you all soon. Have fun.